from around the globe, it's theCUBE. Covering HPE Discover Virtual Experience. Brought to you by HPE. Hi, and welcome to theCUBE's coverage of HPE Discover 2020, the virtual experience. I'm Stu Miniman. Of course, this year we're getting to talk to HPE, their customers and their partners, where they are around the globe. We've said many times that these were you know, together even while we're apart. Happy to dig into a really important partnership uh, with HPE and VMware. Welcome into the program, first time guest on the program, Krista Satterthwaite. She is the Vice President of Product Management for Compute with Hewlett Packard Enterprise. And welcome back to the program, Lee Caswell. He is the Vice President of Product Marketing for Hyperconverged Infrastructure at VMware. Of course, we're talking about vSphere and how that gets bundled into everything else. Uh, Kristen Lee, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having us. All right, so Krista, let, let's start with you. So, you know, I'd like to know a little bit about your background and of course the, the HP and HPE relationship with VMware, uh, you know, goes back to, you know, the earliest days, um, but, you know, give us a little bit about, uh, you know, where in the portfolio you focus on and, and, and how VMware fits in. Oh, sure, sure. So I've been with HPE for 23 years now, and I'm leading the business for ProLiant and Synergy. And uh, talking a little bit about the relationship with VMware. So we've been partnering for 19 years and we have over 200,000 joint customers together. And I'm actually often asked about the partnership and how we partner. And we really partner across all fronts. So it's from the innovation to the co-engineering to working with specific customers on what solutions are good for them to servicing our customers. So we're really working across the board and a lot of customers we work with closely are really impressed with how closely we're working together because that's what they look for. Yeah, and, and Lee, it's, it's, an, it's an interesting relationship to watch. Obviously, you know, the long history Chris had talked about on the compute side, but the, the VMware HP partnership is more than just the compute. Maybe give us a little bit of a view inside, you know, the joint engineering, joint go-to-market efforts that you do. Yeah, you bet. I mean, customers always sit up straight when we talk together because you know both of our companies are just raw engines of innovation, and they look forward to not just the capabilities that we're bringing, but also the seamless way that we integrate that and make that seamless and easy for customers to digest. So, you know, certainly on the server front uh, through vSphere, that's been a longstanding uh, uh, participation. The VMware Cloud Foundation, then this fully software-defined stack became a really interesting way for us to go and partner and show joint value to customers who are trying to basically get more speed, particularly speed. We're going to talk about a lot of that uh, today. And then finally, uh, the VMware Cloud Foundation that we've opened up into storage systems, right? So there's certainly a hyper-converged element of it, but uh, now you know, what we do with Nimble, 3PAR, and now Primera is a really interesting way for us to take the VVOL technology that we have and extend a common operating model. So really just interesting innovation for customers to take advantage of as they look to innovate themselves. Yeah, uh, Krista, you know, from, from a research standpoint, you know, we were really early in watching, uh, you know, new models of building out storage and we said, uh, you know, the pendulum had swung back to pull it much closer to the compute. Uh, you talked about you, you've got a broad portfolio in compute. You know, Synergy has some really interesting, uh, you know, uh, ways to be able to uh, compose things and leverage software capabilities. So maybe mm -hmm. give us a little bit as to how HPE differentiates in the market, because you know VMware does partner with lots of people, but you know what, what, what separates uh, the, this, these joint solutions from everything else out in the market. Sure, and Synergy is a great example because what we're seeing is a really, really high interest on, um, on uh, Synergy with VCF. And the reason for that is because customers want a software-defined infrastructure that they can compose compute, storage, and networking as they need to to address any workload they have. And they want to do that with a um, partner like VMware and VCF. So what we see is customers choosing those two things together and building their hybrid cloud environments on those two. Um, when I think of some of the customers that we have, I'll give an ex a specific example. So um, Banco Santander is one of the largest banking groups in the world, and they are really trying to drive um, innovation across all of their um, um, locations that are in North America, South America, Europe, Asia, 
they're trying to drive innovation across. They have a big project and they selected Synergy and VCF in an as a service Green Lake model to help them transform their business. And they're really excited because what they think this is providing to them is a uh, reduced a data center space, reduced power consumption and reduced costs. And all of that with automation, more automation than they've had in the past, more flexibility than, than they've had in the past. Yeah, I'm, I'm so glad you brought up the Green Lake because you know those as a service models, you know, cloud mm -hmm. obviously has been you know a big discussion uh, for, for the last few years. Lee, um, you know, VMware is is, is no stranger to uh, you know working in you know multi and hybrid cloud env environments. Give us a little bit about you know what you're hearing from your customers. You know, if you mentioned the Green Lake solution, uh, how's that fit in the you know overall you know VMware multi cloud uh, offering? Well, you know, we all know these are uncertain times, right? And customers in uncertain times are looking for flexibility. How do they go and basically, you know, invest smartly, right? And look to come out of uncertain times stronger. Um, and what we're finding is that the flexibility, um, you know, starting at, you know, we're really impressed with the Synergy platform, by the way, the idea of being able to flexibly configure compute and storage to tie into uh, external arrays from that and, to have the VMware Cloud Foundation as a unifying uh, software-defined um, data center concept that's available on-prem and then extends into the hybrid cloud. This basically gives investment protection to customers who are looking for how to invest. And you know, you mentioned GreenLake as well, and I just uh, mentioned you know that innovation on GreenLake is about true consumption-based um, kind of purchasing models, if you will. And that's different than just a financial engineering aspect. I mean, that's real innovation and real technical innovation in terms of how customers can go and apply infrastructure at the time that they need it relative to the compelling business models. Yeah, and I'll, I'll chime in there too. I, I'll tell you a little story about when I first presented the GreenLake model. At that time, it wasn't called GreenLake, um, but I presented it to a a bunch of customers, about 100 customers in an advisory council. And I have never had so many people come up to me afterwards trying to figure out how they can get that for themselves as I did when I had that presentation. What really resonated with people is that they wanted to take advantage of the latest and greatest technologies, but they didn't have big budgets. And when they did take advantage of those technologies, one of the challenges has been growth. So when they need to expand, that's another procurement cycle. You have to wait, you have to stand it all up. With GreenLake, you actually have that added capacity on site and then also paying for what you use. Uh, so they were attracted to all of those things. And I feel like right now in the environment we're in, many people had big, big projects, things they wanted to do, and they may have planned those, uh, a, a capital expenditure for that, but that money may not be there. So GreenLake is one of those things that can help overcome that challenge. And what we found is when people use GreenLake, we don't see many people uh, um, go back. So what, you know, I, I was talking to the GreenLake team and I said, uh, you know, what happens if they decide not to do GreenLake and they kind of pause and they're like, well, we really haven't run into that <laughs> very often. So it's very, very popular and customers are really happy with it. Yeah, talking about innovation and helping customers take advantage of new technologies. You know, Lee, maybe we'll start with you and Krista definitely want your input. Uh, been a lot of feedback about vSphere 7. Uh, of course, one of the big pieces of that is how, you know, cloud native containerization, Kubernetes uh, can be pulled into uh, the, you know, the virtualization platform. So um, we're talking a lot about VCF, Lee. That's the, you know, the way to get it, uh, the, the Kubernetes piece uh, today. Uh, tell us a little bit about that and what you're hearing from customers. And then, uh, Chris, I'd like to understand how that fits into the HPE offerings. Yeah, you know, the data we have shows that 95% of new applications are being developed on containers. Why? Because it's the speed of development. And so at VMware, we've re-architected vSphere for the first time in the, you know, in the last five years. And you know, look carefully at what VMware integrates into the hypervisor, because that's what we believe is going to be really benefiting from performance, efficiency, and management. And so we've integrated Kubernetes directly into the hypervisor itself, and then through our Tanzu portfolio, introduced an upstream compatible Kubernetes development environment so that 
we have developer ready infrastructure. And that's really important because at the speed of new applications, basically you need to be able to respond quickly to those and what VMware has always offered, right? Which is a resilient underlying infrastructure with an intrinsic security model built in. And it's exceptionally important when containers are being spun up more quickly, destroyed more quickly, they're being portable, now they're portable across the hybrid cloud. Those models, right, mean that you need and can you know, get value, right, from this integrated model that leverages all of the experience and knowledge that people have around how to run vCenter and vSphere. So really exciting. And it's available in VCF4 with Tanzu. I actually see the interest. I see customers asking about it, inquiring about it. So I can, you know, definitely second everything that Lee just said. I think you're, Lee, you're going to see a really fast transition over because there's so much value added in. Excellent. Yeah, Krista, while I've got you on the compute piece, mm -hmm. uh, you know, Lee, Lee said that 95% of applica new applications are being uh, built on containerization. How has that, you know, impacted architecture and, you know, how you're working with customers? Yeah, so um, what I find is that customers are very interested in containers. What we're doing is we're helping them from a services standpoint, a consulting standpoint. Uh, many of these customers are adopting for the first time, trying to figure out how they, this could, um, they could leverage containers in their environment. So from our standpoint, it's making sure that we have the right platforms and we're advising and consulting and uh, helping customers get there. Excellent. Uh Lee, uh, you know, Krista talked about uh, Santander. W wondering if you've got uh, any customer examples you'd like to share. Yeah, great one is uh, Porsche. And I love the Porsche example just because, you know, Porsche is just the epitome of speed. And so the idea of this flexibility and so what you're finding, right, is the flexibility, right, starting from, let's say, from a synergy, I'm flexible on the hardware allocation, right? And then with VCF right now being able to be flexible across the hybrid cloud. And now with VCF4 with Tanzu, the flexibility of introducing new modern application support. Uh, and finally, layering GreenLake on top of that, which Porsche is also uh, uh, using, it gives you this idea that, uh, you know, especially in uncertain times, but, uh, you know, regardless, the changing business environment where everyone's responding to app development pressures, timelines, and innovation, we've got a really interesting model now for customers to invest responsibly and be able to respond quickly. Excellent. Uh, Krista, I guess uh, the other piece, since we're at Discover, uh, any mm -hmm. updates in the portfolio expanding uh, the, the VMware solution that you can share? Yeah, yeah. so I'd like to talk a little bit about our pre-validated Synergy VCF solution stack with built-in automation. So we've literally gotten rid of hundreds of steps pre and post deployment. Um, so we could speed deployment by five times so we're talking deploying in hours instead of weeks. So we're really, really excited about that. We're working together to make sure we're making things easier for customers, making that journey to a hybrid cloud very, very simple. So we're really happy to um, you know, offer that to customers. Great. Lee, any, any final words you can share on the yeah. VMware <laughs> HP partnership? Yeah. You know, what I might say is, right, that the pace of innovation from our companies, right, is so great, right, that really v, VMware Cloud Foundation is a way, you know, in our joint effort and joint delivery, right, is a way for customers to assimilate all of this innovation so that day zero, it's guaranteed to work, and that day two, you can lifecycle manage all the individual components from a common SCVC manager interface. That's the value that we're bringing together today is that, listen, you know, putting all this in place can seem daunting until the VMware Cloud Foundation with Synergy, with all of the joint value we have, basically makes it manageable so that you can go and basically stop looking down at infrastructure, look up at the apps. All right, Kristen, I'll let you have the final word and final takeaways from HP Discover. Okay, sure, thanks. Um, together, what we're trying to do is simplify that journey to hybrid cloud, make sure that customers can innovate faster, provide stable operations, and reduce their costs. Well, Kristen Lee, thank you so much for joining us. Congratulations on the progress and looking forward to watching down the road. All right, thanks, thank you, Stu. Stu. All right, stay tuned for lots more coverage from the Cube HPE Discover 2020 virtual experience. I'm Stu Miniman. Thanks for watching.